Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall are gradually shouldering more of the burden of official royal duties, as the Queen steps back from a grueling calendar. Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge are in turn stepping into their shoes and taking on the responsibilities expected of a future King and Queen. She does, however, remain determined to attend the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph this Sunday to honor the UK's war dead. Many of those helped by the Trust are currently in, or are leaving care, facing issues such as homelessness or mental health troubles, or have had close calls with the law. Royal expert Howard Hodgson told Express. Co.uk that the royal family is heading in a very positive direction with Charles at the helm. He said, I think the royal family is, under the guidance of the Prince of Wales, very socially conscious, very concerned to do the right thing, very concerned to have green credentials, very concerned to actually do good. We shouldn't forget that the biggest and best public charity for young people in this country is the Prince's Trust, without any shadow of a doubt, it isn't even questionable. He added, it has done more good for ethnic minorities and other deprived kids, and got them jobs or stuff started them businesses, than anything else in the UK. He praised Charles for his brilliant performance with the Prince's Trust, but admitted it is a shame that, sometimes it's completely overshadowed by other things going on in and around the royal family. The awards were presented virtually earlier this year, and the event gave Charles the opportunity to pay tribute to some of the award winners in person. Mr. Hodgson said Charles is a really, very nice man who actually wants to be a good king. Mr. Fitzwilliams admitted Charles's reign will be a different one to that of the Queen. He said, the Queen won't retire, Charles will do the job for her, but she will be Queen until she dies. As soon as they break that, they know the monarchy's dead. They're just mortals like us if they retire.